Good evening, everybody. This is Alejandro Narbona on behalf of Ingles Corporativo. Welcome, and let's get started. Everyone, please, cameras on, full names displayed, and let's take attendance. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Ada? Present, present, teacher. Thank you. Present. Ana, thank you, Ada. Ana Maria Chaconde Garcia. Not present. Carla Ivana Cabrera Serrano. Present. Thank you. Deborah Raquel Soto Martinez. Present. Thanks. Edson Antonio Guzmán Landaverde. Not present. Fatima Efegenia López Ramos. Not present. Fernando Ernesto Cosmo Morales. Present. Thanks. Hector Eduardo López Varela. Not present. José Antonio Cubillas Hernández. José Antonio José Antonio. Not present. José Saúl González Roque. Present. Thanks. Carla Enet Amaya Herrera. Present teacher. Thank you. Catherine Melissa Susana Campos. Present. Thank you. Catherine, sometimes I don't remember your face, girl. Turkey face. Mariana Carolina Cisneros Reyes. Not present. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Thanks. Miriam Carolina Mozo Valdez. Present. Thank you. Don Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Don Alfonso. Not present. Rosina Marisabel Álvarez de Chávez. Not present. Sabrina Mabelatín Castro. Present. Thank you. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Thanks. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Thank you very much. Carlos Armando Duarte. Present. Thanks. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Present. Thanks. Luis Umaña Orellana. Present. Thank you, sir. And Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Thank you. Anybody who just came in? Here. Oh, Hector. Hector Me, Hector, teacher. Hector, Hector Eduardo Lopez Varela. Present. Thank you. And, Me, uh, teacher. Fatima. Fatima. Oh, here you are. Fatima Ifegenia Lopez Ramos. Present. Thanks. So let me see Ana Maria, Jose Antonio, not yet, Rene and Rina. All right. Well, I hope they can they can log in anytime soon. So guys, real quick, what was yesterday's topic? So About should and shouldn't. Should and shouldn't. That's right. When do we use should? To give suggestions. Yep, we use should for suggestions. That's right. What else? Uh huh. Uh, advice. Yep. Permission. Permission. Yeah, yeah, we can use it for permission too or suggestions. Let's use it. Do it like this. What's the structure, guys? The subject should. Mm -hmm. Subject the should. Bear base complement. Uh -huh. There you go. Give me an example, please. Um, let me give you context before you give me an example. I need to improve my listening skills. What recommendation or suggestion could you give me? You should listen to any English music. You should listen to any? You should, you should practice, uh, sorry, no, you should listen to me English music. Okay, to, to music in English, that's right. In English, I think. Yes, to music in English. Remember, rap, hip hop, uh, not the best advice because of grammar, right? Very good. Here, here. Thank you, Ana Maria. And I also see Jose Antonio. Thank you for being here. All right, what's the negative structure? Subject. Uh -huh. 
ushered in. Should not ushered in. Should not. Aha. Uh -huh. Should not. And the contraction is. Shouldn't. Shouldn't. Correcto. The same thing. I need to improve my listening skills. Suggestion in negative. Uh -huh. Okay. Can you please give me a suggestion? Negative. Yeah. Come on, guys. I got 21 people and I'm not getting one suggestion. Where is the topic, teacher? I'm sorry. Okay. Should and I need no. to improve my listening skills. That's the content. Uh, you shouldn't. Uh... Your movie is translated. Shouldn't. Let me help you watch, watch movies, movies in Spanish, for, Spanish, for example. Ah, in Spanish. You shouldn't watch mm -hmm. movies in Spanish. Come on, guys. I need you to try. I need you to make mistakes. I I really hate it when when nobody responds. Uh, no sé si es que no saben o no quieren o qué onda. Y me deprime. Me da ansiedad. So come on, guys. Participate. <laughs> help me out here. All right, very good. What's the question? Yes, no question. Uh, should uh, uh -huh. uh, subject uh -huh. verb based subject. complement? Yeah, okay. verb based complement. And the question mark, right? This normally is for you to, like, I think it was Sabrina, like asking for permission or asking for some advice in order for you to do something. So, same topic, improving listening skills. What questions would you ask if you want to get an advice uh, as far as that context? Uh, should I change the uh, language of my devices? Yep, should I change the language on my devices? And the answer is? Yes, I should. Yes, no. you should because you're asking me. Ah, yes. And the negative? Yes, you shouldn't. No, you shouldn't. Aha, <laughs> cabal. No, no, you shouldn't. That's right. And what's the structure for a WH question using should? WH. WH. Complement. Good. And how do we answer these type of questions? Uh, we can answer in affirmative or negative. negative. Yep. Answer affirmative or negative statements. Statements, correct. Bye, guys. Nuevamente, como ya les he dicho un montón de veces, cuando tenemos la estructura afirmativa, ¿cuál es la única diferencia con la negativa? Uh, el not. not el not, ¿verdad? como casi todas ahora, siempre con la afirmativa de base ¿cuál es el cambio que se hace para convertirlo en pregunta? WH WH el cambio de afirmativa a pregunta es uh, change the auxiliary no, and subject the yeah, we change the auxiliary so or the subject ok, en este caso es un moral verb también, le damos vuelta En vez de I should, should I? Como todas las anteriores, ¿no? Yes? Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay, good. Come on, guys. It's only Wednesday, and it seems it's Friday, and you're all tired. Um, and ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre una yes, no question y la WH? More information. The WH question. More information. In the WH question, you should answer with the completely the same. Uh -huh, with a complete. Asking why. Exactly. But what is the thing we add? ¿Qué es lo que le agregamos? Para hacer la yes, no. La why? Why? When? Where? Where? What time? What time? What time? So, 
I need you to pay attention to this, guys, because it is the same structure for every grammar topic we have been covering. Una vez ustedes tienen la estructura, ya saben qué cambios hacer para todo. Ok, vamos a practicarlo un poquito porque me tiene muy preocupado que han entrado bien dormidos. Toditos. Me cuesta que estén participando ahora. Así Ay, que no se salva también usted. Ahí le incluye todo. <laughs> okay, so this is what we're going to do, guys. Um, you're going to come up with a problem. Okay, tell me a problem you have. Small problem, vea, que no es psicólogo la cosa. Tell me a small problem you have. I don't have work. I don't have a job. Okay, that's a real scenario. What recommendation can you give me? Or can you, uh, you, you should uh, uh, improve your curriculum. ¿Cómo se dice hoja de vida en inglés? Your resume, okay. For your, for your resume. Mm -hmm. You should improve your resume, right? What else? Mm -hmm. You should. You should. You, uh, should, apply, uh, you apply. should check the the platforms online. You should with... apply to different jobs. You should check online platforms. Good. So you're giving me suggestions mm -hmm. with, uh, should correct. Mm -hmm. What about negative, for the same context? I don't have a job. Mm -hmm. I can tell you, hey, you shouldn't stay home. Go find a job, mm -hmm. right? Give me another one. No deberías relajarte. Lo vimos ayer. Uh -huh. You shouldn't settle down. You shouldn't settle down. Ven cómo se pueden mezclar los temas. So guys, this is what you're going to do. We're going to go to the breakout rooms and practice this. Vamos a practicar porque no me convencen. Estuvieron muy callados. No les creo que pueden. Así que demuéstrenmelo. Déjenme con la boca callada. Go to the breakout rooms. You're going to come up with one little problem. And the group is going to give one, uh, one or two uh, suggestions in affirmative and one or two suggestions in negative. Is that okay? Two. Do you understand it? Understand. Understood. Understood. Okay. Vaya, guys. ¿Me entendieron? Que después en los grupos andan preguntando, ¿y qué dijo? Cuando yo llego, los cacho cabrón. Dos. 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 Yes or not question. Dijo que una o dos eh, afirmativas de, en el de shoot y uno o dos negativas. Ah, exacto. Exacto. Tengo hambre. Deberías prepararte algo. No deberías aguantarte. Hay una afirmativa o una negativa. Está haciendo calor. Deberías ponerte enfrente del espejo. Deberías bañarte. Right? No deberías andar suéter. That's what I want you to do. So let's go to the breakout rooms, guys. We're going to have about... Uh, 10 minutes, approximately 10, 12 minutes, and then we come back. So go ahead and accept the invite and try to work the best and as hard as you can. Yes, okay. Um, okay, go for it, guys. Accept the invite. See you in 12. Hi, Miriam, did you get the invite? No me apareció, teacher. Okay, let me send it again. Don't accept it yet. No lo acepto todavía. Okay. Do you see it? Yes. Ahorita. Okay, now you can accept it. ¿Qué problema mm -hmm. tengo? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yo tengo, yo tengo, I have a problem. Okay. I am hungry. I am. <laughs> I am hungry. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> okay. It's the first thing. I am hungry. Mm -hmm. Entonces, podríamos decir, you should, you should uh, cook, cook dinner. Make dinner. Ah, make, make dinner. No sé, mm. siempre se me olvida eso. Make dinner. Mm -hmm. My problem is he spent already the, the salary. <laughs> I right. spent? 
we can. I we can, spent the salary already. We can work with that with Jocelyn's problem too. But hey, Jose is still hungry. Like I said, one or two uh, suggestions and the sí. negative too. Right? Yes, falta la negativa. Uh -huh. Continue working on Jose's mm -hmm. and then you can work with Jocelyn's problem. Yes. And then with okay. Fatima's problem, then with Anna's, and you continue. Any questions? Yes. No. no, teacher. All righty, go okay. for it. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Okay. Ya le dije. Yeah, you should. You should. Pronunciation is vacation or vacation? Vacation, I think. Vacation. 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 Okay, the other one would be negative. So, let me check. What is the context? Um, Jose um, Antonio is tired. 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 Ah, tire how can you say tire is janta? Tire. Yeah. <laughs> tire. With the right. end, tired is cansado. You have tired. Tired. Tire. Es como taller, yeah. pero con de al final. Tire. Tired. Okay, okay. Okay. I am tired. Okay. White, white out. Exactly, I am white out. Good one, uh, Roberto. And what about how can we tell him debería de reducir tus horas en el trabajo? Go um, back. Yeah. He you should, should scale back. Your hours. It's all two hours. Yeah. Yeah. Give him a negative. One in negative, please. To chill. Negative. Well, we should be uh, the negative. We can use the same. But see, you shouldn't request. Say, say it again, Miriam. I want to hear you again, please. Okay. We should be we should buy in the meeting next week. We should buy in the meeting uh -huh. next week. See? ¿Sí? Comprar. No. Es lo que quiero decir, nosotros no deberíamos estar en la reunión la próxima semana. Muy bien. So, help, say with me, Miriam. We shouldn't. Uh -huh. We shouldn't. Be. Be. In the meeting next week. In the meeting next week. Okay. Good job. That's exactly it. All right, guys. Good job. Keep on working. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, right, yeah. No sé cómo decirlo, pero eh, no deberías de dejar de estudiar porque Stop. es importante. Stop is the verb you're looking Perfect. for. You should stop to study. Mm. No. Stop and, the, stop and then ing. Stopping. You should. You shouldn't. No. Uh -huh. You shouldn't, the verb in the base form. No debería de detenerte. You shouldn't stop uh, to study. Studying. Extra program. Studying. You it's shouldn't stop studying. Study. 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 Normally, with the verb stop, you use ing. You shouldn't stop or stopping. No. Stop no. is the verb. Okay. After stop, if you're talking about an action, the name of an action, normally you use ing. Uh, stop can be used with both. Stop, stop studying, o pueden decir stop to study. Acuérdense que hay verbos que van seguidos solo de gerundios, otros que van seguidos solo de infinitivos. Entonces, stop, a mi parecer, se oye mucho mejor con ing. Stop studying. Yes. Stop studying or mm -hmm. stop practicing exactly stop studying or stop mm -hmm. practicing stop is your verb in the base form shouldn't stop yeah. studying mm -hmm. okay if uh, pedir, pedir ayuda 
you should ask or help. 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 You should yes. ask help. help. Good job. Any question, girls? No, no question. Good. No. Keep it up. Okay. Sí, verdad. Yeah. Y la, o, y la WH era la que solo es igual que la yes, ¿no? Solamente que iba la WH. Ajá, que era la que dijo, uh -huh. la que dijo Héctor, creo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ya serían cuatro, serían con eso. Yes, uh -huh. Ajá, sí. Esa sería la de la respuesta de Guay. Uh -huh. De ahí quiero ver, veamos. Sería la uno. Mira, quiero hacer. ¿Qué pasó? Cuatro, ¿verdad? Vaya. No sé otra para poder adaptarla. Ya tenemos esas. No, Quiero ver, veamos. What's the context, guys? Uh, I am a... I am sleepy. I am sleeping. I am sleeping or I am sleepy? I am sleepy. I am sleepy, I have a sleep. I have a sleep. Yeah. You, you well, should go to sleep. You should go to sleep. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You shouldn't go to sleep. Good, yes. Why shouldn't go to sleep? Yeah. Because I can get up. Yes, I should not. <laughs> yeah. uh, sure you go to sleep. Uh -huh, yes, no. Okay, very good. Yes, no, now sure. you have proven that you know how to use it. Now put it in context, like a real conversation. Give a little bit uh -huh. more suggestions. Okay. Uh -huh. So change them, and you don't necessarily have to change the same to negative affirmative. You can just keep more. I'm hungry. You should make a sandwich. Um, you shouldn't. You shouldn't stop eating. No, ahorita dejar de comer. So give a little bit more suggestions to one person. Only speaking. Pero entonces only sería spoken. una conversación. Oh, right. No, no, just only spoken. Ejemplos. Spoken okay. among yourselves. Hablando okay. entre ustedes. Okay. All right. Keep it up. Good job, guys. Any questions? Yes. No. No. No teacher. Okay. Good. You should ask for your math. Uh, teacher, tenemos una consulta que no salió ahí. Uh, me no hablar mucho español, Fernando. Come on, man. What's up? Uh, we we made a, a sentence with because. Uh, uh, Carla is, is sick, uh -huh. and we suggested her to her uh, uh, she shouldn't self medicate. Yes, but uh, self medicate uh, isn't a, a bear a bear base. Yes, it is. It is. Yes, self medicate is all the the work. Yes. Uh, okay. 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 Yeah. Uh -huh. Man, you got good English skills, but you speak too much Spanish, and that might be my fault. But you know, challenge yourself, man. Okay. Okay. You can do it, man. All right. Any any other questions? It is I get sick or I feel sick? I am sick. I am sick. Uh huh. The thing is this, okay. if you want to say estoy enfermo, you're going to say I'm sick. Okay. But I'm if you want to say huh? enfermarse, well, in that case, yes, you're going to say I am getting sick. Me estoy enfermando. Estoy enfermando. Uh -huh. Y si me medio. digo, le digo, le estoy diciendo a alguien, eh, me estoy, eh, me estoy, eh, estoy, me estoy, estoy me enfermo. Estoy sintiendo. No, uh -huh. me, me enfermé, me enfermé en oficina. I get, in, I get sick in, in the office. Me enfermé, that's past tense. Ah, perdón, I got sick in the office. Yes. Okay. So it's not the same as being sick, que va con el verb to be, sí, sí, sí. enfermarse, to get sick. Okay. Okay. All right, good job. Let me check one last group and we go back. Practice as much as you can. Increase the pace of your rhythm. Hi.
Uh -huh. Because the tide is high. Yeah? Uh -huh. You shouldn't go alone. Puede ser también. Uh -huh. Or you shouldn't go to the beach because it's rain. raining. Because it's raining. 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 Uh -huh. uh -huh. um, you should ask for an Uber to take you, for example, para que te lleve. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. ¿Qué más? Um, Cloudy. What else? What else? What else? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Teacher, is correct? The, the tide is high, como la marea es alta. The tide is high. Yeah. 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 Okay. The tide is high. Okay. Um, you should go to the beach on Sunday with your friends. <laughs> is, is, and, isn't, isn't that the opposite when, when the tide is high? No, <laughs> it, it's high. <laughs> it's also, <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> Okay, ah, pues no, entonces le cambiamos. You should go to the beach on Friday because the tide is high. Mm. Or you can, you can also say there is a high high tide. Ah, okay. There no, is high. high marea alta. There's high tide. There is, okay. There is high, 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 high yeah. High, high. Okay, oh. you should go, you should then go to the beach because there is tide high. I see. High tide. High tide. Mm -hmm. okay. High tide. Remember that the, uh, whatever you're describing goes at the end. Yeah. All of the description is before what you're, is okay. before uh, what you're describing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any okay. questions with this topic, guys? Uh, no, teacher. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right, very good. So in 10 seconds, we're gonna go back to the main room and we guys are gonna share. Okay. Okay, thank you. Welcome. All righty guys, um, let me hear your, 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 your what? Your examples. Guys, give me a number one to six. Uh, three. Three, okay. Um, Deborah, Danes, Sabrina, and Sandra, just give me a couple of examples of what you did. I can, I can use, I can use Excel. <laughs> Welcome to a lot of people's world. Uh-huh, I can't use Excel, good. You should practice exercise in program Excel. All right, you should practice. Yeah, you should practice. practice. You should practice Excel, just like that, simple. Okay. Or you should practice you should. it, so you don't say it practice. again. Mm -hmm. Good, what else? You should study. Oh. Uh, Excel course. Yeah, you ah nice. You can mm. say you should mm. take take yeah. an Excel course. You can take English classes. You can take driving lessons. Good to take. Mm -hmm. And negative. You should uh -huh. continue, Sandra. Okay, you shouldn't stop practicing. Nice, you shouldn't stop practicing. Good job. Um, Sandra, give me a number, one, two, six. No. Sandra? Six, no, D. Carla, Ivania, Miguel, and William, what's the situation? Okay. I want to go to the beach. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> no, it, no, it's problem, teacher. It's I want to go to the beach. <laughs> okay, yeah, go ahead. It can be it's another one. What should I do? Uh, Miguel, it, you should buy sunscreen. Yeah. If you don't have a car, you should rent a car. Okay. Ariana. 
And you shouldn't go when the traffic is heavy. You should use a GPS. <laughs> and you shouldn't go to the beach because there is a tide high. There is high tide. High tide, I'm sorry. Yes, high tide, high, high tide. tide, yes. Okay, very good, thank you. And um, bye guys, do you have a question? Tienen una pregunta acerca de esta estructura, ya que la medio practicaron. Hablen ahora o caen para siempre. No, teacher, for me no. Is everybody clear? No, teacher. Okay, all right, very good. Thank you very much for answering. So let's get uh, today's topic. Everybody repeat after me, please. I will be able to express possibility. I will be able, able to, to express, express possibility. And request permission. And, and request, request permission. permission. How often do you ask for permission? How often, How often do, you, do, you do you ask for permission? Permission. permission? What is the procedure to request one? What is the procedure to request one? What is the procedure to request one? All right, now you can read it. Uh, here, I would like to change something real quick. Here it's not two, it should be end. Yes, yes. Thanks. All right, say with me, please. I will be able to express possibility and request permission. I will be able to, I will be able able to, to express possibility and request permission. And request permission. Good. Volunteer to read it, please. I will be able to express possibility and request permission. Good job, Hector. Um, next one, how often do you ask for permission? How often, how often do you, do you ask, ask for, for permission? Ask for permission. Volunteer, please. How often do you ask for permission? Okay, thank you, Miguel. Guys, this is a real question. How often do you ask for permission? At work? I don't know, to your mom, dad, to your girlfriend, boyfriend, mm -hmm. to your wife, husband. At the know. university. At the school. university, uh -huh. you can ask for permission in many. many college, things. school. At school. College. Mm -hmm. So how often? Frequency. Do you remember the mm -hmm. adverse of frequency? Um, no. Yeah. Yes. Nunca? Always. Never. 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 Siempre. Always. Always. All time. Always. Always. A veces? Sometimes. 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 Hardly ever. Hardly ever. Hardly. Usualmente? Usually. Usually. Estamos. Good job. So, how often do you request or do you ask for permission? Uh, this is a real sometimes. question to you. Hardly ever. Sometimes. Sometimes. Okay. Um, how often do you ask for permission at work? Um, usually. <laughs> Hardly ever. Hardly ever. <laughs> okay, very good. How often do you ask for permission to your parents if you still live with your parents? Mm. I always. I always. <laughs> Never. Uh, Never. Always and not permission. I mean, I um, information. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How often uh, do your children, if you have them, ask for permission? For moms and dads. Mm. I don't have children. Mm -hmm. I don't have any children. Sometimes. Sometimes, okay. all right. Suddenly okay. they disappear, okay. right? Yes, always, but <laughs> yeah. How often always. do you ask for permission to your couple? Um, sometimes. <laughs> okay. Well, I like that you're being honest, at least. What is it better, to ask for permission or to apologize? Apologize. Yes, okay. All right. In my case, I always ask my girl for permission. You know? In my case, apology. Happy wife, happy life. Right? Excellent. Example. All right. Let's continue here, guys. Repeat after me, please. Good morning, ladies. How are you doing today? Good morning, ladies. Good morning, ladies. How are you doing today? Hello, Hank. 
Hello, Hank. Hello, Hank. I'm okay, but Betty's not. I'm okay, I'm okay, okay but Betty's not. Betty's not. 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 Betty? Not. What's Ready? wrong, Betty? What's Ready? wrong, Betty? What's wrong, Betty? What's wrong, Betty? Well, my mother is sick, and my sister can't go see her tomorrow. Well, well, well my, my mother, mother is sick, and, and my sister, my sister can, can, can go see her tomorrow. Can go see, see her tomorrow. tomorrow. I'm sorry to hear that. You could ask for permission. You could ask for permission. He's right. He's right. You could go to HR department and request a form. You could go to HR department and request a form. Don't worry about it. Let's do it one more time. You could go to HR department and request a form. Wow. You could you go right. to HR department, department and request a form. Okay. Could I mention the reason for the permission? Could I mention, could I mention, the, mention the, reason the reason for the permission? The permission? Yes, absolutely. Yes, yes, yes absolutely. absolutely. All right. So say with me, please. Could. 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 Uh -huh. Could. Make sure you explode it. Could. And let's work on it here. Good, Good morning, good. ladies. How are you today? Ano? How, How are, are you doing, doing today? today? Good morning, ladies. ladies. How are you doing today? How are you doing today? This is how grammatically should be done. However, spoken English is just how you doing today? How you doing? How, how you doing? doing today? Okay. How you doing, okay. how you doing today? How you doing? Yes. Many times the um, this or the auxiliaries in the spoken English, they don't say. For example, how do you say tienes? Uh, tienes hambre? Uh, you, are you hungry? Are you hungry? It was a question. <laughs> it was a question. Are you hungry? Are you hungry? Are you hungry? Correct. So don't get confused if you only hear you hungry. Right? So, esto, señores, va a pasar mucho en el inglés hablado. ¿Se acuerdan que yo les pido siempre que repitan igualito como yo lo hago? Lo más que se pueda. Para que se acuerden yeah. y empiecen a aprender la entonación. Entonces, si yo les digo, are you hungry? Es una pregunta completa. Pero yo también les puedo decir, you hungry? Right? And mm -hmm. no está completa gramaticalmente. Pero como yo termino la entonación al final, les dice a ustedes que es pregunta. You hungry? ¿De que me cerebro con eso? No, no, no. No. Sin okay, querer, sí, es que... entonces hemos preguntado varias no. veces en inglés bien. Exactly, yes, yes, yes. So remember, yeah. I'm, I'm trying to prepare you for... I'm trying to prepare you for real life. Los estoy preparando para la vida real. Van a ver en las películas que simplemente cuando les toque hablar con alguien... Por Dios, no dijo el auxiliar y ahora qué hago. No, relax. Relax, it's okay. You hungry? You okay? For example, do you have a, a car? You can also ask, you have a car? <laughs> right? So, vayanse acostumbrando a eso. Por eso les digo que, um, how are you doing today? Baja, nadie le va a decir eso. How are you doing today? How are you doing today? So, let's go ahead and repeat after me, please. How are you doing today? How are you doing today? Good. Hello, Hank. I'm okay, but Betty is not. Hello, Hank. Hello, Hank. Hello, Hank. Hello, okay, Hank. But, but, but Betty is not. But Betty is not. It, what grammar tense is this? Simple present. Yes, yeah, simple present with what? Where to be. Where to be. Excellent. Continue. Really? What's wrong, Betty? Really? really? What's wrong, Betty? What's wrong, Betty? 
What tense is this one? WH with what? Correct. Well, my mother is sick and my sister can go see her tomorrow. Well, well, my mother, mother is sick and my, my sister can, can go, go see her tomorrow. tomorrow. What's this? Where to be? Where to be again, right? And this? Simple. Simple person. Simple person. Simple person. Using can. Using can. That's Using right. This can. is the use of can. Right? Remember that we had a class about this? Poder uh, or no mal, poder? Mal verb. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a modal verb. Correct. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sorry, I'm sorry to, hear that. to hear that. Sense? Simple uh, present. Simple present, present. present again. You could remember. Finishes Yukura. with consonant and it starts with a vowel. You link it. You could ask for permission. You could ask for permission. The use of could possibility. Could yes, 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 yes. Okay, next one. He's right. He's right. He's right. Tense. Simple present. Where to be? We continue Where with the verb. To be. You could go to HR department and request a form. You could go you to, to HR department, department, department and request a form. Yeah. Right could now. I mention the reason for the permission? Could I mention the reason for the, the, reason for the permission? What tense or what structure? It's a question with could. Could. That's right. Yes, absolutely. Yes, absolutely. Yes, absolutely. 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 So guys, in this case, you could ask for permission. What is the translation? I uh, Deberías pedir permiso? Deberías y que deberías no should. No, perdón, ustedes podrías. Podrías pedir permiso. Ah, okay. Podrías preguntar por un Exactly. And what is this? Is this a request? Is this a request? No, it's no, it's no, right? It is possibility okay. or what? Yes. Or a suggestion. That's suggestion. right. This can be possibility oh. or suggestion. Les voy a dar un consejo sano. No se claven en si es una o otra tanto porque puede ser cualquiera de las dos. Es una posibilidad porque puede pedir permiso y a la vez le está dando una sugerencia. ¿verdad? Same thing. Well, not the same thing, but not the same, but in this context, one of those. Next one. You could go to HR department and request a form. What do you think that is? Is that a possibility, suggestion, request? Suggestion. Suggestion. Yes, this is a department suggestion. Now, what's the difference between this one right here uh, you could go to HR or you could ask for permission. ¿Por qué esta no es una posibilidad? Porque le está sugiriendo que vaya al departamento. Le está no sugiriendo, ¿verdad? Yeah? Claramente es una sugerencia. And the next one, could I mention the reason for the permission? What's happening here? Asking for a suggestion. He is asking for a suggestion. That's right. So asking for suggestion. Okay. Oops. Podría mencionar la razón del permiso. Yeah. Podría mencionar. This can also be. Well, never mind. We're, we're going to go to different topics. Do you have any questions with the use of could so far? No. no? All right. Let's go to the structure. You're going to be working with this, but let me do something before that. What's the structure in affirmative? Yes, subject. Subject plus. Good. Plus good. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Subject. 
could. Plus could. Verbase. Verbase. Complement. Complement. The, the other one? Subject. Subject. Could. Verbase. Verbase. Complement. Complement. And the yes no question? Uh, could. could. Subject. 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 Uh, Verbase. Verbase. Complement. Okay, so let's pay attention to this, guys. Here. Say with me, please. How to use could? How to use, 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 use could? Use the modal verb could to express possibility. Use the modal verb could, could, could to express possibility. And the structure is subject could. Uh, yep. could. <laughs> subject. Good. Uh, Verb base. Compliment. Uh, and they spoiled the surprise. They spoiled the surprise. La arruinaron. Arruinaron la sorpresa. Que no es la misma estructura que should. Pero solo le ponemos could. Yeah. Sí, vea. Yes. Yes. Es lo mismo. Y señores, siempre les he dicho. Sujeto. Verbo. Complemento. Complemento. Que tengan auxiliares. La base del inglés es mucho más sencilla que la de español. Pobrecito un, uh, un hablante del inglés que quiera aprender español. Porque ahí cambian hasta los verbos. Aquí no. Ok, so with this, guys, we're going to be um, working with different things. But before we do, I just wanted to please. Um, now nah, we have a lot to do. Never mind. We're not going to practice the, the conversation today because could is. A little, how can I say this? Confusing? No, but it has many uses. So let, ah. me, let me share something real quick. And please pay attention so you don't feel lost, okay? Let's work with this. First use, and please pay attention, is going to be possibility. Okay? Remember the, the cases that we were using with should, en vez de deberías, que es should, igual podemos dar, eh, no, no, vamos a empezar con, con suggestions, right? I am hungry. I'm hungry, I'm hungry. Ah, you should make dinner. Yeah, oh, you oh. should make dinner. Debería de hacer oh. cena. Pero si no, um, you, you, could make, make, you could make dinner. You could, you could. Podrías hacer cena. Mm -hmm. Okay. I am sleepy. You, you, should, you could take a shower to wake up. You could take a shower uh -huh, to wake up. Son sugerencias, ¿no? You could eat a chocolate. Yep, you could eat a eat chocolate. A chocolate. Mm -hmm. Now, you Leo, could drink a soda. You could drink, yeah, an energy yes. drink. Drink That's coffee. Your... <laughs> you could drink, yeah. Drink coffee. Drink coffee, mm -hmm. which is, you know, healthier. Mm -hmm. Now, these are clearly suggestions, right? Podrías hacer tal cosa. However, if you are at work, can you do this? Uh, no. no. If you are at work, can you take a shower? No. Not really, right? If you're at work, can you eat a chocolate? Mm, yes. Yeah, yes. why not? So it is possible. If you're at work, can you drink coffee? Yes. Okay. It is possible. So guys, these suggestions are only suggestions when the possibility is obvious. Oh. Okay? Solo son sugerencias cuando la posibilidad es real. Porque si yo estoy en el trabajo y alguien me digo, tengo sueño, y alguien me manda que me bañe, <risa> obviamente, <risa> no es una sugerencia porque no es posible. ¿no? So, could, and I'm saying this in Spanish because I really want you to understand the difference. It's kind of tricky. Right? Solo es una sugerencia. You could wash your face. Ahí sí es una sugerencia. Podrías ir a lavar la cara. Esa es como el punto de esto. 
que son sugerencias cuando de verdad es posible. ¿Estamos en esto? Yes. Ajá, ok, very good. And then, let's get it. Let me change this real quick. You know what? I don't know what to do, guys. Um, I, I want to... My students are not participating, you know. Uh, what could I do? ¿Qué podría hacer? What could I do? Mm. Yes, eh, you could, you could eh, ask, ask, eh, preguntar, eh, ask, for order list. For order list. For a new group. Thank you. That's a good That's idea. Okay. I'm, I'm not going to change you guys. I'm not going to change you. Bye, guys. <laughs> yeah, no, so I'm sorry. Por orden de lista, teacher. Ah, okay, sorry. I think I misunderstood. <laughs> Bye, guys. So a suggestion and a possibility are super similar. Okay, I just wanted to understand them. So super similares. Now, possibilities is, what are your options? ¿Cuáles son mis opciones para algo? Ahí es donde va la posibilidad. Quizá no estoy dando, dar un consejo, una sugerencia, sino que estoy haciéndole énfasis a las cosas que son posibles. ¿Ok? Como por ejemplo anteriormente, you could make dinner. Eso no es una posibilidad si estoy en el trabajo. Pero me voy a sacar la cacerola. No. Right? Entonces, con possibility... Aunque la línea es muy delgada y se pueden confundir, ustedes no siempre tienen que tratar de identificarlo. No siempre. Ahora, let's say about English classes. What are my possibilities with English classes? Uh, we could get a better job. Yeah, we could get a better job. Nice. No es una sugerencia, vea. Sino que estamos remarcando que es una posibilidad. What else? Uh, Guys, I need your help. There's people who I haven't heard lately. Hay gente que no ha escuchado últimamente. You could get a vacation. We could get a promotion. We could get promoted. We could get promoted. Promoted. Ajá, que te suban en la posición. You could, you could get vacation. You could. Get vacation. Get vacation. Después de, después de las clases, sí, o cuando termine el módulo. Pero aprender inglés, ¿creen ustedes que esa es como una posibilidad? ¿Solo por el inglés puedo tener vacaciones? ¿O es por ley que tengo vacaciones? De ley. Ajá. So, tienen que estar como relacionadas, cosas que de verdad sean uh -huh. posibles. So, you could get a better job, you could get promoted. What else? We call, we call. We call money. We could make more money. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Or oh, earn, earn more money. Cualquiera de las dos. To make money, hacer pisto. Earn money, ganárselo. Earn money. Earn. earn. Uh -huh. With N at the end. Uh -huh. Earn money. Okay. We could speak to um, Americans. No me juzguen, ¿verdad? hay un gran debate si se le llama americano o no, no nos vamos a meter en eso. Right. Do you guys understand the difference between a suggestion and a possibility? Yeah. We could. Yeah, okay. Then we go with request. And with request, they are pretty much questions. Right? If you go to McDonald's, for example, you want, you want to get... What are the combos from McDonald's again? Uh, I'm a grip. Uh, quarto de libra, but what is called? Quarter pound. Co quarter pound. Uh -huh. A gram. Uh, big could, I get, could I get a Big Mac? <laughs> could I get a Big Mac? 
¿Me podría dar una Big Mac? <laughs> no, I yeah. couldn't. No, you couldn't. Ah. <laughs> hey, don't be so rude, Deborah, please. Don't be <laughs> here, okay, now let's say that you are in class. What requests can you make? Could you speak slow? Could you speak <laughs> slower? Yeah, definitely. Could yeah. you repeat, please? Could you repeat, please? Uh-huh, what else? Give me one more. Uh, Could you participate, please? <laughs> hey, but that's not for me, okay? Could you participate? <laughs> now, normally, how do you answer this type of questions? Yes, I could. Yes, no, I could. I, yes, I could. Yes, I could. No, I couldn't. No, I could. Or, no, I couldn't. I, no, I couldn't. However, however, normally you don't use this. Porque se van a confundir con algo más. These type of questions, if it's affirmative, you can say something like, sure. No problem. Ah, no problem. No problem. What else? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. It's okay, absolutely. Right? Normally you answer with these type of things, not with yes, I could. And what about when you have to say no? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. sorry. I can. I don't have can. time. I don't have time. I don't. Etc. Right? So these are the differences between suggestions, possibility, and request. Now, there's a, there's another there's another one. Could can be used as past of can, right? Para decir pude y no pude. How do you say, um, yo puedo hacerlo? I can do that. I can do it. I can do it. Mm -hmm. How do you say, pude hacerlo? Ah, sí, pude hacerlo. I could do it. I could do it. I could do it. Okay. How do you say, no pude hacerlo? I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. Right? Um, pude viajar el año pasado. I could, I could travel last year. So, teacher, ¿y cómo le voy a hacer para entender si es el pasado de Ken o si es algo más? How can we tell that? Context. Context. Right? Plain and simple context. <clears throat> okay. Any questions with this, guys? So let me ask you something in this context. Hey, did you did you do the homework? Uh, yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes. No, I didn't. Yes, I did. No, I didn't, right? No pude. Uh, I couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't. Yep. No, so I generalmente couldn't. van a ser no, I didn't. Oh, okay. Para cumplir con la gramática, I couldn't. I couldn't. No pude. You're welcome. Right? Entonces, no la hice o no pude. Okay. No pude. I couldn't. Mm -hmm. Así de sencillo. I couldn't. Um, y aquí es la cosa señores que el contexto nos va a llevar al pasado esto solo es el pasado de can que es poder no pude tal cosa no pude viajar no pude hacer la tarea no me pude bañar eh, no pude la clásica ¿verdad? van al super y le dicen sí, tráeme tal cosa no pude ah, lo olvidó, no pude Pero eso lo Pero yo voy a... so Normalmente, si yo les pregunto esto, 
¿Qué es? What is it? Es un request, ¿verdad? Entonces, generalmente no vamos a preguntar de esta manera. Pongan mucha atención, guys. Es do, ¿verdad? No do. Ok, could you yes, yeah, yo. <laughs> do the homework yesterday? ¿Qué es esto? Es una pregunta en pasado, ¿no? En el pasado. ¿Pudiste hacer la tarea ayer? Entonces, esto es lo que quiero que le ponga mucha atención, señores. Aquí literalmente estoy preguntando si la hizo. No si la pudo hacer. Sí. Fue mi elección ocupar couldn't, porque yo quiero hacer énfasis en que no pude. Fue mi elección. Pero generalmente, si ustedes ven esto, el mismo, el mismo contexto los, les va a decir si es una petición o si les están preguntando si pudieron. ¿Pudiste hacer la tarea? Esa no es, Ajá, exacto. Ese... Pudiste hacer la tarea. Ahora, si ustedes ya saben que... ¿Qué hay tarea? La tarea era para ayer. ¿Qué día fue ayer? What, what day was yesterday? Uh, Tuesday. Tuesday, right? Tuesday. Tuesday. Si ustedes ya saben, todos sabemos, el contexto ya sabemos que la tarea fue ayer. Y yo les pregunto, hey guys, could you do the homework? Yes. Les estoy preguntando si pudieron, ¿verdad? Yeah. Ah, ahí se me chivolaron. Contexto. La tarea fue para ayer. ¿Verdad? Entonces, sí, sí, ahí sería pasado. El no, yesterday es, ya está incluido. Está, ya estaría incluido. Uh -huh. Si sí, no, sería como una, una... Nos está preguntando, es que si nos está eh, haciendo la petición, ¿podrían hacer la tarea? Exactamente. Uh -huh. aunque, yo les eh. haga, aunque yo les pregunte, ¿could you do the homework? Como yo les estoy preguntando de la tarea de ayer, el mismo contexto me dice que es pasado. No. Okay. Pero si, lo estamos, si nos deja una tarea para hacer, como cuando entramos a... O sea, pudieron hacerlo, ya sería solo el cut. Ya. Yeah. Ahora, I want to be clear in this. Les estoy hablando en español porque este tema es algo confuso y no tenemos mucho tiempo y no lo vamos a volver a ver en este módulo. Por eso quiero que quede bien claro. Generalmente, nosotros vamos... Casi no se pregunta esto. ¿Ok? Porque el énfasis, no nos hacemos énfasis en el hecho si pudieron o no. Ese es el énfasis con could en pasado. Es el pasado de can. Poder, pude. Entonces, generalmente no se pregunta de esta manera. Could you do the homework yesterday? Se pregunta directamente en pasado. ¿Ok? Yeah. Directamente en pasado. Porque nos interesa saber que hicieron, si, si hicieron la tarea o no. No nos interesa saber si pudieron o no. ¿Ok? Entonces, esta I have cosa... In this kind of... uh -huh. Go ahead, Jocelyn. I have a question in this... Okay, thank you, sorry. In this kind of question, we can answer, uh, for example, will you do the homework? We can answer, sure, absolutely. Yes. Or we can answer, yes, I could. Sure, absolutely, and all of that. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Good. One more time, guys. Esto, generalmente, si ustedes quieren decir que hicieron algo, y si el énfasis, quieren hacer, ustedes hacer énfasis, en decir que pudieron, yes, I could. No, I couldn't. Okay. ¿Vamos bien ahí? Sí. All right. Bye, guys. What are the uses? Suggestions? Possibility. What else? Possibility. 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 Request. 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 And the past uh, of can. Okay. I know it's a little bit confusing, and we're not going to use them all at the same time. Don't worry. In the meantime, I'm going to send this to the group and let me take attendance because now you're going to start working. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Yes, teacher.
María H. Conde García. Present. Carlibani Cabrera Cezanne. Present. Débora Raquel Soto Martínez. Present. Edson Andoni Guzmán Andaverde. No, present. Pati Mifegenia López Ramos. Present. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Héctor Eduardo López Varela. Present. José Antonio Cubillas Hernández. Yo te voy a ayudar cuando termines sí. las Thank clases. You. Nos vemos. Carla Enet Amaya Herrera. Puede ser. Eso me descansa. Va. Eso me llega, que la quieren ayudar. Muy bien. Baby. Guys, no se preocupen por el sonido ambiente. Ah, está bonito, se siente. Escucha, Car 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 Carla y Anet. Catherine Melissa Susana Campos. Catherine. Catherine. No present. Mariana Carolina Cisneros Reyes. No present. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Miren, Carolina Mozo Valdés. Present. Juan Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Present. Reina María Isabel Álvarez de Chávez. Present. Get your questions ready, Reina. 10 to 10, 10 today. Your turn. Sabrina Mabel Latín Castro. Present. Sandra Elizabeth Sorto Romero. Present. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Carlos Armando Duarte. Present. Isela Liliana Menando Espinosa. Present. Luis Umaña Orellana. Present. And Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Thank Present. you very much. And Catherine, uh, por motivos Present. de editoría en esa forma, ahí está. Good job. Es que no sé qué pasa con yeah. mi audífono, teacher, entonces. Yeah, it's um, okay. That, that's what I was going to say, too, in support. Okay. Um, bye, guys. ¿Leyeron el mensaje que les mandé hoy? What's up? Yeah. 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 Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes. Yes, right. teacher. Yes. Va. ¿Qué va a pasar? Eh, que tenemos que contestar la encuesta hasta el día que usted nos diga que es el último día de clase. Hacerlo exactly, todo exactly. Vaya, guys, por favor, por el amor de Cristo, ven, por... no vayan a contestar la encuesta todavía. Okay? Háganla conmigo. Les va a llegar un email. Ese email, ¿todos lo han recibido ya? ¿O el mensaje? Sí. ¿Quiénes no lo han recibido? Todo por WhatsApp lo he reci okay. recibido ahorita. Estamos bien. Entonces, guys, eso vayan practicando. Ya la mayoría sabe, el día bien martes nos toca. Martes. No es opcional. <ríe> Tienen que hacer eso porque esa es la última piedra angular del de módulo. ¿Ok? Así que tienen que estar el martes sí o sí. Ya lo, yo les voy a decir la hora en la que lo vamos a hacer. Vayan viendo que lo vamos a trabajar con copy-paste. Ya les mandaron el link Pueden ver el link, pueden practicar con el link, pero por favor no le vayan a dar enviar. ¿Ok? Así que porfa no lo toquen. Que ya cayeron un par ahí, dicen, no lo hagan. Y en la reunión que tuvimos ahora, ya cayeron un par de encuestas. Entonces, si la encuesta no está bien, todo el esfuerzo del módulo va a la basura. Ya saben que es bien, bien, bien delicado. Um, lo segundo... Um, sorry, I got good news. Lo segundo es, guys, necesito que empiecen a talonear, sorry por la palabra, a su departamento de HR para que manden los documentos a tiempo. Los documentos no los van a mandar ustedes, solo asegúrense de que ellos los manden. ¿Okay? La última fecha la han pasado el martes 12. Creo que es martes. 11 o 12. 11, martes 11, para que manden martes. la documentación. No la mandan ustedes, pero por favor, taloneen a esa forma. Lo último... El día martes ya tiene que estar lista la plataforma y el final test. Si es posible, señores, tengámoslo listo ya para la clase. El lunes no hay clases por el día de la madre. Felicidades a las mamás bien adelantado, a las mamás y a la vez papases, um, para que por favor terminen la plataforma ya para el, para el día martes, para, para elaborar la clase. Ok. Alrighty. So let's do this, guys. Do you have any questions about this long explanation about could? I love this silence. So let's put it in practice. Let's go to the uh, to this thing. Say it for me, please. Read the situation. Read the situation. Read the situation. Read the situation. And write a sentence expressing possibility with could. 
Write the sentences for a simple possibility with cool. Share the sentences with your classmates. Share the sentences with your classmates. Exactly. So you know that I like to go the extra mile, right? Um, and what I need you to do is this. You don't have a car. I want you to give, please, one of each. One suggestion, one possibility, and one request. Okay? okay. For each scenario, you're going to give. I'm going to write it down so you don't forget. Please give one suggestion, one um, possibility, and one, one request, request. Mm -hmm. for each request. scenario. Request a scenario. Any questions? No. No? OK. So let's go ahead and work with this. I'm going to give you approximately 15 minutes. And one new scenario, number five, you're going to create your own scenario. Okay. One request, one possibility, and one suggestion. Let's go to the breakout rooms. See you back in 15. Go for it. Reina Isela, did you get the invite? Teacher, no, parece no? el mensajito. Okay. Don't worry, let me let me work on it right now. Um, all right, just a sec. Reina, you're gone. Okay. My phone, so. You're gone. Yeah, uh, always it's with cool. cut with cut. Always cool. cool. Just okay, cool. Good. Using good. Okay. You don't have a car. You could save money for uh me avisan si ya ven la imagen. Okay. Um, first, first sentence, you don't have a car. You don't have a car. Okay. Um, fresh suggestion. Mm -hmm. You could, you could buy a car. You could rent a car. You could buy a car. You could rent a car. Yeah. You could rent a car. You could rent a car. Okay. Possibility. This is a, a suggestion. Puede rentar uno, creo que le estamos dando una sugerencia. Ajá. No sé si las demás piensan lo mismo. It, it could be, una remember that para mí. possibility and suggestions, ah, okay. some of them can be like almost the same thing. Mm -hmm. It can in, sometimes may be the same. Just try for the possibility and suggestion to be different. You know, que se note la diferencia. If you can't, it's okay. Don't worry about it. Mm -hmm. um, possibility. Okay. Possibility. You can. You cool. Um, for example, um, podrías prestar un vehículo. Mm. You could lend. You can lend a car. Lend is that you're gonna give it to someone else. Uh huh. Yes. No. It can be. Yeah. Um, 
No, no se puede usar así, teacher. Uh, no. Mm. The thing is that land, you can, you can borrow a car. Uh, borrow. Yeah. Or you can ask someone to lend you a car. You could ask someone, pedirle a alguien que te preste el vehículo. Mm. Because if you just say you could lend a car, es como que tú se lo prestes a alguien. No pedirlo. Mm, no pedirlo, ok. Mm. Entonces sería, you could, mm, you could ask someone, a friend, a relative, to someone. lend you a car. Mm -hmm. Ahí sí estamos en lend. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Then, mm -hmm. you call at someone. Then, you call. Mm. Ana María, ¿y te parece si mejor decimos you call them your brother's car? Puede prestarle a tu hermano el car. That's another one. Yes. Pero, eh, la escucho más como posibilidad esa, fíjate. No sé. Si Pero sería. Pero es lo que dijo el teacher, que es como que yo tengo el carro y yo se lo presto a mi hermano. Guys, uh, be careful mm. with this. Sugerencia mm. y posibilidad a veces pueden ser ambas en la misma. Es una sugerencia yeah. porque es una posibilidad. Así que no se esfuercen tanto como en separarlas. Porque esto depende mm. mucho del contexto. Es más okay. fácil que el contexto defina si es sugerencia o posibilidad a que ustedes le peguen así es sugerencia o posibilidad. So, no okay. worries. Una posibilidad puede ser una sugerencia y viceversa. Uh -huh. O pueden ser separadas, ¿no? Si es obvio, pues se va a notar la diferencia. Si no, no worries. ¿Ok? No, uh -huh. no se claven tanto en eso para que lo puedan hacer todo. If you have any questions, you can call. Okay. Your family. No, it's family member, I think. Family member to the hospital. Let me check if it's the correct way to say it. Yeah, we can um, we can use, you could take your family member to the hospital. It should be as a, a suggestion. I don't know. ¿Qué piensan ustedes? You could take, sería, ¿verdad? Yeah. What are you doing, girl? Sorry. Uh -huh. You could stay. You could take your family member to the hospital. Ya todos lo tienen? Yes. Yes. Great. So let's move on to the to the possibility. Yeah. Is subject inicia con subject? Yeah, should be uh you, you could or they could because is a is the possibility and then we are going to work with the request. So what do you think that should be a a possibility? Yeah. Okay, let me check. Um, possibility for someone with your family is sick. Um, I don't know. I for for this kind of scenario, I don't have idea for the possibility. possibility. I don't know if someone else has an idea. Could you uh, ir a la farmacia a comprar cool? medicamento? Um, you could you could buy. Uh, medicine. Because you can say go to the 
drugstore. I think that is the correct way. You could go but you can also the... say that you can buy medicine, comprar la medicina. Mm -hmm. You know what, okay. <clears throat> guys, um, in the previous group also, they were having a problem to identify whether it's a suggestion or a possibility. Right? Okay. Uh, sometimes it's the same. So don't worry if you are not really making like a big difference. Okay? That's a very thin line. It's not even muy delgada. Depends on the context. So don't worry. Don't try too hard for you to say like the big difference. All right? If for you it's possibility, it is possibility. If for you is a suggestion, it is suggestion. It's okay. Okay. Yeah. Any questions so far? Mm, not at this moment. Okay. Go for it. You can call me if you have questions. Okay. I don't know. Dejémosle ese en asterisco. Vamos a preguntar. Teacher, si is correct uh, in possibility? Oh. <laughs> um, we, we could visit the doctor. Yeah, I'll go to the doctor sounds better. You could go to the doctor. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. Remember that suggestion and possibility is a very thin line. It can be the same thing. Puede ser lo mismo, ambos lo mismo. O si es muy obvio, se identifica si es posible. You couldn't repeat, teacher. You couldn't, you, you could what? Go. Go to, the go to the doctor. Mm -hmm. But you or, or the, or the, or the, or the. Possibility. Your he your could family. go to the doctor. She could go to the doctor. No, but the but your family is the sick, nor you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, ah. but yes, I can ah. check. Mm -hmm. What is it? Ah, he or she can go to the doctor. Yeah, yeah. Or you can go, say your you, relative, tu pariente, your relative. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. You go or had your relative go mm -hmm. to the doctor. Go could, to the doctor. Go. Mm -hmm. Entonces sería como me perdí. <laughs> no, es que, o sea, yo creo que está bien como lo estamos haciendo. Es como que. Tú, Carla, uh, pero es que es como que tú, Carla, me estás diciendo a mí. Tengo enfermo un paciente, entonces yo vengo y yo te digo, you could buy medicine, deberías de comprar medicina. ¿Está bien mm -hmm. así? Podrías, podrías comprar medicina. You can. Sí, podrías. pero lo que ella es que, mm -hmm. Entonces, pero lo que ellas me están diciendo es que pongamos un, un sujeto, pero mm -hmm. por eso estoy dando el ejemplo yo. ¿Cómo, cómo es que eh, el ejemplo sería que Carla me está diciendo a mí que que tiene un pariente enfermo. Entonces yo solo le digo, yeah. podrías comprar la medicina. Ya. Yeah. ¿Es correcto? Ya, yeah, se puede. Uh -huh. Acuérdense okay. que ahí ustedes van a jugar con el sujeto. You're going to play with the subject. Like I said, your relative yeah. could go to the doctor. Yeah. Tu pariente puede ir al doctor. Uh, he can go to the doctor. Yeah. She can go to the doctor. Right? It, it depends on the context. Pero no, no sé. Enfoquen tanto en el contexto de a quién están diciendo. Right. Yeah. Okay. All right. Any questions mm -hmm. so far? No questions. Mm -hmm. Don't worry it's about really possibility and uh, suggestion. As it's sometimes the same thing. <laughs> right, okay. Okay. Request. Um, send. Hey guys, how are you doing? Your request. Don't worry. That, that, that's why I'm asking you to, uh, to do exercises so you can uh, identify the confusion. So tell uh -huh. me, what's your confusion? Yeah. yeah, show me. Tell me what, what, what is it? Um, and someone of your family 
y sí, esas teníamos. Pusimos como posibilidad a You could go to the hospital y como sugerencia You could buy medicine. Bueno, con esto no, no, no entra en el debate si... <risa> okay. O sea, si, si es... No sé, si el tenis que están viendo es rosado o es verde. Uno le dice que es rosado. Don't worry about it. A suggestion and possibility, most of the times they have like the same thing. A no ser que, okay. que ya sea súper claro, como los ejemplos que nosotros pusimos, que se nota bien la diferencia. Pero mm. si no, mientras puedan ocupar el could, nadie le va a decir, hey, pero ¿por qué me estás dando una posibilidad en vez de una, en vez de una sugerencia? También, mm. tranquilo, los dos <laughs> se van a ir. Don't worry okay. about it. Ok. Any other questions besides that? Mm, no. No, teacher. Ok. No. Good, good job. You can call me if you need, if you have questions. Okay, thanks. Could, could I go at work? Could I go to work? Feeling could, like that? Could I go to work? Could feeling I go to like, work? Yeah. Could I go? Go to work. Feel? Feeling? Feeling like that. Porque tenemos work y eh, no podemos tener los dos, pero pues así el siguiente tiene que ir con ING. Feeling? Pegado. A menos que sea modal, pero me recuerdo yo. Right. Like that. Like that. Uh, teacher, si nosotros decimos I could call sick, estamos diciendo que eh, eh, podríamos llamar, llamar para que estamos enfermos. Podría. Ajá. Podría llamar que estoy enfermo. I could call in sick. Call in sick. Ah, uh, call in sick. Okay. In sick. Yeah, definitely. Is that a request? Is that a possibility? Or possibility. A Okay. I could call in sick. La otra. Uh, the, the, the request, uh, all, all our question now, right? Yeah, most of them. Yeah, okay. you're asking yeah, for yeah. something. So yeah, yes. Oh, yes. yes. Okay. And the last one is okay. I. Ah, esa dijo, esa, esa no tiene, supongo que es un caso que nosotros tenemos un que Un escenario. Manejar. Yep, you have to create your own. Do you have any questions before I check the last group? No. All right. No, Good job. Uh, in the number five. <laughs> number five. Uh, someone. Great. Yeah. Yeah. Nosotros tenemos que crearla, vea. Uh, uh, someone. Uh, ¿Qué? What's fighting? Ajá, o, o podríamos usar, no sé. I was fighting from work. Ajá, same. I got okay. fired. Permission. I got fired. I got, got fired. Ah, I got fired. I got fired. Well, ok. Um, uh, suggestion. Suggestion. To, to you look for a new job? Puede ser uno, ¿no? Como podría buscar un nuevo job. Ajá. Teacher, what mm -hmm. is the, the correct verb? Look or find? What? And could you look for a new job or could you find? Is that a, a question? No, no, no. It's a affirmative suggestion. Como podría buscar un nuevo trabajo. Ah, because you were saying could you. So it's you could. Ah, no, no, no. Could you? Uh -huh. Could you look for a new job? Is correct. But it's it, okay. But or, or say, it, what sorry. is that? Is that a question? No. Is you could go out and ah, look for a new job. Uh -huh. You could look for a new job. That's a suggestion, you, right? Or a possibility. Suggestion. Mm -hmm. Or yeah. you could search what is the correct verb. Look for, yeah. In this context, look for. Look for. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can also say find a job. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. También, cualquiera de dos. Find a job. Okay. Look for a job. Okay. Um, possibility. Possibility. 
You got a minute. Awesome. Mm. Could you, send, could you send the curriculum online? You could, uh-huh. Um, you could send the curriculum you know, online. Yeah. Esa podría ser la pregunta, ¿no? Uh -huh. and, and the possibility, I don't know, you could, you could need money, for example. You could? <laughs> You could need money for uh -huh. es una posibilidad. Yep. You could need money. Okay. Y the question? Um, you could. You could. Okay. Sería guy a uh, glass guy guy o give me no. mm -hmm. give me a glass oh, of, a know, glass of milk no the video okay now I'm back. sorry I was having issues uh, coming back to you guys let's do this real quick Share the screen found pound you know what group number one you don't have a car or give me what you got what is a possibility you could rent a car possibility suggestion you could add someone lend a car. You could ask someone to lend you a car. Yes, you could ask someone to lend you a car. Request. You buy a car. You buy a, a new car. Could you buy a car? Could, could you buy a car? Mm -hmm. Could you buy a car? Okay. You buy me a car? Could you buy me a car? Aha, uh -huh. you see, me podría comprar un auto. Qué bonito, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's a request. Okay, you know. cool. <laughs> uh, kind of abusive really? if you're not a millionaire, but yeah, good. Good, like it. Um, as you notice, guys, possibility and suggestion, you know, nobody's going to tell me, no, nobody's going to tell you, like, ¿Por qué me estás dando una posibilidad en vez de una sugerencia? Nadie le va a decir eso. Esa línea es muy delgada. Yo se las di. En esos ejemplos es bien claro. A veces el contexto es claro. Pero ustedes no tienen que forzarlo tanto. ¿Ok? Ya sea sugerencia, ya sea posibilidad, pueden ir de la mano. Así que no se quiebren tanto la cabeza en eso. Solo quiero que entiendan la diferencia entre una sugerencia y una posibilidad. Pero el mismo contexto les dice si es una u otra. Si no, que se vaya en lo mismo. No se quiebran la cabeza. ¿Estamos con eso? Yes. Okay, very good. Um, number two, group number two, please. Someone of your family is sick. Number two. Group number two, which is, let me see. Isela, Jose, Miriam, and Roberto. Jose, so would you like to provide the information? Or, or Roberto? Okay. 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 Go ahead. Someone or your family is sick. You could take out your family members at the hospital. Yes. Uh huh. The other one, um, you could buy some medicine. Yeah. The last question, um, could you ask for permission to take your family member to the hospital? Could you ask for permission to take your family member to the hospital? Good. Good job, guys. Now let's go with number three, Carla Ivania, Deborah, Sabrina, and Sandra. 
No lo terminamos, teacher. En ese íbamos. Eh, Improvise. You could okay. ask your secretary to help you. You could ask your secretary to help you. Nice. You could go to the major's office for the legal document. You could go to the major's office for the legal documents. Yes, and the request. Could you request the documents online? Could you request the documents online? Yeah, como que le pregunten a la secretaria, no? Could you request the documents online? Please, right? Uh, please at the end so you sound more polite. Good, good, good. It's okay. Good job. Number four, Carlos Armando, Catherine, and Zone. Number four. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, would you call take vitamins? You could take vitamins, yes. Mm -hmm. You call take a rest? Could. Could. Uh, you could. Uh -huh. No hay L ahí. Could. Could. You mm -hmm. could take a rest. Yep. And a request. Could you make a date with a doctor? Nice. Muy bien. Solo que se dice date, usted quiere tener una cita con el doctor, no de la que le va a cobrar. Appointment. <laughs> okay. Right? Appointment. That's right. Appointment. So, okay. Date like this. A date. <laughs> and then you have an appointment. Que la doctora. Ah, okay. Dos pares de tiro. <laughs> Two birds, one shot. Okay, nice. <laughs> Let's go to group number five. Um, Ada, Fernando, Carla. And, you know, give me the ones that you created. Okay. My computer is broken. Uh -huh. uh, suggestion. Uh, you could buy a new. You could... You could buy a new one. New one, uh -huh, new one. Uh, uh -huh. Carla, the uh, suggestion, uh, possibility, pardon. Possibility, uh, you could fix it. Yes, good. The request means is could you sell some yeah. good parts? Could you? Sell some good parts. Hmm. I'm I'm not really hearing you with that one. Uh, could you sell some good sell parts? Some parts. Venderlas. Sí, partes buenas, pues. Vender <laughs> algunas partes buenas. Podría vender algunas partes buenas. Mm -hmm. Pero quién le están preguntando a eso? Sería, eh, bueno, si soy yo sería. Eh, could I? No, bueno, tendría que. Va, decirle... es que ahí vamos de, ahí vamos, ahí vamos de carroñeros. Vulture, vulture. <laughs> Uh, vulture is buitres, right? Ah, sí, sí, sería. Alguien te dice, se me arruinó la, la compu y ahí va uno de buitre, vea. Could you sell Could me you some sell parts? Me some parts. Ajá, ahí sí, request. Uh, sí, 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 cierto, cierto. Could you sell cierto. me some parts? Nice. Ahí, pero ni le, ni le dice nombre, arreglala. Ahí usted quiere su beneficio, vea. La vendan. But, but I think I made a point. Good job. And then number six, Miguel, Reina, and William. Tell me the ones you created. Okay. Uh, you don't have a car. Uh -huh. Could you ask the bank for a loan? Could you ask the Could you oh, ask the bank for a loan? Ahí le está pidiendo a alguien que le saque un crédito. Si dice, you could ask the bank for a loan, ahí sí, podrías pedir un crédito. Yeah, the topic is, I, I was fired from work. What's the topic again, please? I was, I don't know, no, no, eso me dijo que había que cambiarla. I was fired from work. I got fired. I got fired from work, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, the suggestion, mm -hmm. you, you could look for a new job. Yes. Okay. Um, possibility? Mm -hmm. oh. mm, you could need some money. Yeah. Yeah, you could need some money. 
Vaya, guys, en ese caso está súper clara la diferencia entre sugerencia, you could find a job, o posibilidad, you could need some money. Entonces, el mismo contexto los va a llevar a diferencias claras como esas. De lo contrario, todo lo que han hecho está bueno. A veces puede ser sugerencia o puede ser este, um, posibilidad. ¿Ok? Así que no se preocupen tanto. Continúen. Ok, the question, could you re register? No sé cómo se dice. Register. Could you register your curriculum or resume in Tecoloco, por ejemplo? Online. Could you register your resume in Tecoloco? Vaya. Aquí quiero ayudarles a todos. Que es, ahí sería, depende mucho del contexto. ¿Se acuerdan el vulture, el, el carroñero ahí que le quería caer a la compu? ¿Sí? Depende. Si tú dices, could you register your, your, your resume? No tiene mucho sentido. A menos que se lo pidan a alguien. Right? Could you register or could you upload? Because it is a platform, an online platform. Could you upload my resume? Como que se lo están pidiendo a alguien más, porque acuérdense que es un request. ¿Podrías subir a la plataforma, entre comillas, entre paréntesis, mi, mi currículum? Could you upload my resume? Así sería. Okay. Could you upload my resume? Ok. Y le está pidiendo a alguien que le ayude a subirlo. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok. Very good. Um, let's go ahead and take attendance so you have more time to work. The last attendance of the night. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Thank you very much. Ana María Chacón de García. Present. Carly Vane Cabrera Susano. Present. Deborah Raquel Soto Martínez. Present. Edson Andoni Guzmán Landa Verde. No present. Pati Mepegenia López Ramos. Present. Fernando Ernesto Cosmo Morales. Fernando. Present. Estaba muteado, perdón. No worries. Héctor Eduardo López Varela. Héctor. No, present. José Antonio Cubías Hernández. Present. José Saúl González Roque. Present. Carla Eneta Amaya Herrera. Present. Catherine Melissa Susana Campos. <laughs> Present. Mariana Carolina Cisneros Reyes, no present. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Miren Carolina Mozo Valdés. Present. Don Alfonso María Escalante. Present. Reina María Isabel Álvarez de Chávez. Present. Get ready, Reina. Sabrina Mabaletín Castro. Present. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Carlos Armando Duarte. Present. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Present. Luis Umaña Orellana. Present. Jocelyn Imelda Riva Sabarca. Present. Thank you very much. All right, guys. So what we're going to do is this. Um, you're going to create a quick thing, a quick conversation. Create, not have. Create a quick conversation. You could use the same. Ahí lo acabo de ocupar. You could use the same topics that you discussed previously. And then create a quick one. For example, man, um, it's Mother's Day and I don't have any money. It happens, right? Well, uh, oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Um, I could lend you some money. Te podría prestar pistol. No, I'm not going to pay you back. I don't have any money. Well, in that case, you could uh, cook something for her. You know what? I changed my mind. Okay. Could you lend me some money? Y traten de meterlas todas ahí rapidito, algo de 30 segundos. Okay? <laughs> Any questions? No? Le voy a dar 8 minutos, guys. Go for it. 8 minutes. Go, go, go. You can do this. Something quick.
Deborah, did you get the invite? Hey, come on. Hello, Rina. Hello. What topic? The restaurant. No. No. Hello? Hagamos este voz el de que te despiden del trabajo. Make it quick. You only have eight minutes. Okay, okay. Hello, how are you guys? Uh, I don't know. I need the money. I need money. Because <laughs> I got fired. Come on. Uh-huh. All right, good. I, uh, Trust you. You could you could uh, uh, get Tomarma. some medicine. Uh-huh. What medicine could I take? Ah, eh, <laughs> ah no, me ahí no puedo decir. Eh, could could I take eh, paracetamol? <laughs> no sé cómo se dice. <laughs> ah, paracetamol. Good question. Let me see if they have. <laughs> Yo por no decir acetaminofen, pero es que es paracetamol. I would say paracetamol, but. Paracetamol. Paracetamol. Yes. I'm not sure. Paracetamol. Yeah. Paracetamol. Paracetamol. Acetaminophen. Yeah. Acetaminophen. That's in Spanish. <laughs> Entonces, después de que le pregunte que, que si. Que, <laughs> que puede tomar alguna medicina, usted le puede decir. Could, could you get some medicine? Creo que estaría bien, ¿no? Mm -hmm. o, could you get some medicine? Ah, oh, no. Could, could you, you take? Take medicine. Entonces, yo. What Podría, medicine? Uh, guys, acuérdense en eso, que si es un request, ustedes le están pidiendo a alguien que haga Ah, no, perdón, perdón, perdón. Solo sería, no you, you, you could sell medical. Yes. Good. Sell medical. Got uh -huh. it. You got five minutes. Keep it up. I uh -huh. have I here, so my vehicle does not start. Así era, ¿verdad? You could take your vehicle to the mechanic. My car does not start. Mm -hmm. uh, También se puede poner así. Mi carro no enciende. Uh -huh. My car does. My car does not turn on. Vaya René, ¿qué era lo que dirías tú? Eh, como la sugerencia, you could take your vehicle to the mechanic. You could. You could. You could. Como la sugerencia. You could call a mechanic. Uh -huh. You could take your very close to the mechanic. Uh -huh. You call also check the battery. Uh -huh. Podría, ajá, podría ser, podría, podría decir eso. Una, una, una posibilidad, la que uh -huh. es uh -huh. una posibilidad es... Podrías también verificarla, podrías ah, también verificar verificar. la batería. Ajá. Uh -huh. You call also check the battery. Sería, uh -huh. call you check the battery or you call? You call. Podrías también así. Y la otra sería eh, llamar a una grúa, pero este sería como un request. Could you call a tow truck for me, please? Could you call could you call a tow truck? Tow truck? Could you check the battery? Would you call, would you call... Could. Carlos? Could. 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 Así como se dice. Could. Could. Yeah. Could. Me confundo. Could. Could. Me queda. <laughs> could. No L. Could. 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 Like the band. Could. could I. Si a alguien le gusta esa cosa. Could I. Could. Could, <laughs> could I. All right. Keep it up. You got two minutes, guys. You can do this. Okay. okay. A ver cómo se dice el cuota. Oh, no. Could you. Uh, could you. Um, teacher. Uh -huh. Tell me. Uh, ¿Cómo se dice um, para um, comprar algo en cuotas? 
Good. Credit. No, that's credit. credit card. No, no, that's credit. No, pero ah, pero esa ah yeah, yeah. Ah, that's credit. Ah, credit. Yeah. Uh, uh, do you do you buy? Do you buy? No. What's the context? Podrías comprar el el carro. Al crédito, al crédito. Sí, así. Ajá. Yeah, you could have a Podría credit adquirir for, el carro you could al have crédito. A credit. Yeah, you could have it um, as a credit, for example. You could have it or you could buy it as a credit. Ah, uh, you could buy it as credit. 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 Okay. Credit. 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 Could I have it as credit? Could I? Could I have it as credit? Um, no, no, pero ahí, you. ajá. Could you? Could you have? Débora me lo está diciendo a mí. Ajá. Could you have it? Could you have it as credit? Have it as credit. Is correct, teacher? Yes. Okay. Could you have a credit? Could you have has credit? Yeah? Yeah. Has has has, has credit. credit. Has credit. Okay, guys, let's do this. Group number one, Ana Maria, Fatima, Jose, and Jocelyn. Okay. Okay. Um, hello, guys. What call I buy as a gift for my mother? Hi, Ana Maria. You could ask her what kind of gift she wants. Oh, she likes roses and going for a walk and eating. Hello, Ana Maria. You would give her some shoes. Sure, I could buy them. I could buy them. I could buy them. Mm -hmm. I could buy them. Jose Saul? Ana Maria, you could take her to eat at the Pampa Argentina. Excellent idea. Thanks, guys. Nice. Good job, good job. Thank you. Um, in this one, that you could take her to La Pampa, just like that. You could take her. To you could take La her. Pampa. Ah, you could now, take her. I, I don't know if it was me, but I didn't hear the uh, the request. Did you include mm. a request there? Because I didn't hear it. No, we didn't. Okay. La usamos al principio con la que yo dije con W H. Uh huh. What what yes. colored by? Mm -hmm. What colored by as a gift for my mother? Okay, yeah, valid, mm -hmm. good, good job. <laughs> Isela, Jose, Miriam, and Roberto. Okay, hello guys. Um, I would like to travel to South Korea, but I don't have much money, and also I don't have permission in my job. You can call. You can cool work hard to get sufficient funds to pay your ticket. And what do you think, Jose? I think I think that you could find a cheap fly on internet. Oh yeah. Could you ask for permission? Yeah, continue, Miriam. Could you ask for permission in your company to have vacation? Yeah, you are right. 
I'm going to work hard and requesting overtime, and then I'm going to request vacation. Thank you very much for your support, guys. Okay, That's good job. Teacher. Clear and concise. Uh, the only one yeah. is that in, in uh, Roberto's sentence, you got can could. You have both. Just could. Could. Mm -hmm. Porque escuché como okay, que era let me can check could. The, the correction. Yeah. But no worries. And, you know, you did great. It's just a small little thing. Okay. Good job. Um, Cardevania, Débora, Sabrina, and Sandra. Okay. Um, hello, girls. I want to buy a car, but I don't have enough to save money. I don't want to do. Uh, hi, Sabrina. You could request a loan to the bank. Yeah. Sabrina, you could save more money. Um, Sabrina, could you have a, as a credit at the bank? Could you ask for a credit? Podrías pedir un credit? Ask for a credit at the yeah. bank. Yeah, that is a good idea, Deborah. Thank you so much. All right, good job, girls. Uh, the, I would only recommend you to say, could you ask for a loan? L O A N loan. Eso ya es un préstamo. No, yeah. Could you ask for a loan? Mm. Podrías pedir un préstamo? Yeah, yeah. Good enough. Like yeah. it. Good job. Okay. Carlos, Catherine, and Zone. Hi, friends. My car won't start. Hi, Carlos. Uh, you call take your to the perdón. You call to take your car to the mechanic. Oh, I already called him, but he couldn't, couldn't come right now. Nice. El pasado. Excelente. Good job. Continue. Cat. Catering. Catering. Are you there? Well, you can. You could, sorry. <laughs> you could check the battery or if the car needs gasoline. <laughs> Thanks for your help. I will try. Okay, nice, clear and concise. <laughs> and I really like the use of uh, good and past. Good job. Let's go with Ada, Susana, Fernando, and Carla. Uh, okay. Guys, I am very, very sick. What could I do? Uh, uh, I'm sorry to hear that, Carla. Uh, you could visit the doctor. I can. Tomorrow is Mother's Day breakfast, and I want to go. Uh, you could uh, some medica. You could get mm. that. Ah, you could self medicate. Yes, I like it. Auto medicarse, self medicate. Continue. And tell me, what medicine could I could I take? Um, yes. For example, acetaminophen, <laughs> paracetamol, uh, for six hours, teacher. Every, every six hours. Every, every six hours and a lot of uh, water. A lot of water. Uh -huh. tomorrow, nice, thank you. <laughs> uh, tomorrow, you go, uh, tomorrow you're going to be here. Nice, <laughs> thank this. you for your help. <laughs> All right, good job. Nice. Uh, Zaceta gratis for everybody in case. <laughs> All righty, let's go with Miguel, Rina, and William. Hello, guy. How are you? Hi, I, I have a problem. What's up for you? I need money. I go buy the wrong work. A good idea, William, but uh, with a the work, they can give me credit. It's true. Call your finger sugar mommy. Okay, good idea. Uh, could you give me the number of a lady? No problem. Could I, if you, could I have you the number, a friend? I could give you. <laughs> I could give you. Okay, thank you, Rina. Uh, I will try. Thank you, friends. All right. I'll see you. La vida fácil le gusta. <laughs> Nice job. Yo no sé por qué todos andan buscando una sugar mama o un sugar daddy. What's wrong with you guys? Aprendan inglés y consigan un mejor trabajo. No. Nah. 
<laughs> All right. So, guys, <laughs> thank you very much. Yeah. We're going to be working with this tomorrow. Acuérdense, venimos, trabajamos con Kut y luego pasamos a otro tema. Thank you very much. Everybody else but Rina. Por eso uh, quieren aprender inglés, to teach you. Si sí, la sugar mama o el sugar daddy en inglés, ahí sí. All right. Get out of here. I'm just going to stay with Rina. Have a good night. Okay. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Bye, guys. All right, just give me a second. Ok, dígalo. Vaya, tío, fíjese que tengo dudas en, en el has y el hub, esa tarea, así que okay. me costó un poquito armarla. Uh -huh. es... Vaya, chivo. Ajá. Uh -huh. No sé, digo. Sí, como que quizás ese día no puse, no me concentré mucho en la clase. Entre tarde. Como... Eh, pero estamos hablando de nada más el verbo have o has o en el presente perfecto. Mm, en el presente perfecto. Ok, muy bien. Vaya, el... sí, la verdad que bastante. Es, es un tema bastante complicado. O confuso, porque es presente, pero estamos hablando del pasado. Uh -huh. de la gente de trabajo. Uh, Reina, ¿tú ya has ido al Mahahual? Sí. Yes. Ok. Uh, ¿Y tú ya has comido Kuzuko? No. No, I don't. I have it. I ha no, I have it. A eso vamos. Uh, Hazme tus preguntas de mi experiencia, experiencia de vida. Eh, tú ya has escalado el vol algún volcán. Sí, sí, sí. He escalado, he escalado el volcán de pues, Santana. I can't remember the name. Entonces, muy bien. Ha pasado, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Es lo que el have y el has es el auxiliar para este tema que estamos hablando en español. As. Uh -huh. As. El ya ha, ella ya ha, uh -huh. ellos ya han. Entonces, ese... Has es nuestro auxiliar, have o has. Uh -huh. okay. Y luego, escalado, comido, viajado, todo ese ado, edo, ese es el presente perfecto. Justamente, ese tema le pega bien literal. Entonces, um, tenemos rápido que, creo que se lo mandé. Give me a second, give me a second, give me a second, give me a second, give me a second. Se lo mandé a alguien, eso es poquito. Aquí está. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. I'm going to send it to you, Rena. Uh, hágame favor, escríbame, por favor, en WhatsApp, me pido que lo haga. Yo tengo un montón de conversaciones abiertas. I can, ah, ya, ya, ya leí. No worries. Yeah. Okay. So here, this is pretty much the structure. Vamos a tener el sujeto, subject, have or has, verb in past participle and complement. Si te, cuest te cuestan los verbos en pasado participio, o ya te puedes mucho. Um, eso sí, eso. Siento Va. que quizás por eso me trabé en ese tema. Ajá, por eso fue de las primeras cosas que toqué. Um, no necesitas aprendértelo para practicar esta, esta grammar tense. Lo que puedes hacer es con la lista enfrente, literalmente. Y tú, y tú buscas, por ejemplo, ¿ves tú este desmadre? Sí. Es que estaba aprendiendo posesivos. Entonces, prácticamente me dio los cuadros y ahí yo tuve que entender después de una hora y media cuál va con cuál. Entendí la relación este con este, este con este, este con este, este con este. Yo todavía no me los puedo bien. Así que lo que uh -huh. hago es que cuando estoy practicando, tengo esto a la par. Entonces, no sé si ves bien por ahí, por ejemplo, bueno. no se ve mucho, pero Seu es... Uh -huh. ¿Qué es Seu? Es suyo. Sí. Entonces, si yo quiero decir suyo, busco, quiero ver qué dice suyo. Ah, Seu. Sí, es suya. Seba. Yo no me los puedo. Puedes hacer uh -huh. lo mismo con una lista de verbos. Y eso lo vas a ir buscando tanto que eventualmente los vas a aprender. 
pero te ayuda a salir del embrollo y a entender la estructura. Así que si no tienes una lista de verbos, hay que ir imprimiendo uno. ¿Okay? Sí, no me he dedicado. Sí tengo lista de verbos, pero no me he dedicado a hacer, hacerlo así de forma. You have to. No hay de otra. Uh -huh. Sí, porque a mí me cuesta, yo creo que esa es la mejor opción. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Entonces, eh, para decir yo he comido loroco, según la estructura, what's the subject? Ay. Ajá. No, Ay. no mira para arriba, mira la, estru la estructura. I have. I have. Uh -huh. I have eat. No. El participio Sería... en la tercera columna. Ajá. I have. Aquí te la pongo. Eat. Ate. Uh, I have eaten. I have eaten. Muy bien. I have eaten. Loroco. Loroco. Mm -hmm. I have eaten loroco. He comido loroco. Entonces es la tercera columna de los verbos. El pasado participio. Estos van comer, comí, comido. Entonces, por eso es muy importante por lo menos identificar cuál vas a ocupar. No he comido loroco. I haven't, I haven't eaten loroco. Muy bien. ¿Has comido loroco tú? You and have to eaten loroco. Have you eaten loroco? Muy bien. La respuesta. Contestamos yes. con el mismo auxiliar. Yes. Yes, I have. Muy bien. Negativo. Yes, I haven't. Yes, eh, I no, have. no, I haven't. Ajá. Muy bien, muy bien, muy bien, muy bien. Ok. Eso es el presente perfecto. He comido loroco. En algún momento de tu vida lo has hecho. No me importa cuándo fue. Solo si ha pasado o no. Ok. Eso es muy importante. Okay. Por eso es que la gente se confunde, porque el present perfect es algo que hiciste, que empezó en el pasado uh -huh. y que continúa hasta el presente. Pero no es una acción continua, ¿no? Entonces, uh -huh. nosotros decimos presente perfecto porque ahorita, el día de hoy, sí forma parte de tu experiencia de vida o no para, forma parte. Uh -huh. ¿Verdad? Entonces, por eso es que se llama presente y ahí nos confundimos con el pasado. Si ha pasado esa experiencia es tuya, ahorita forma parte de tu vida. Es un presente en ti. Entonces, no nos importa si va a volver a pasar o no. Uh -huh. ¿Okay? Si vamos a decir, si vamos a ocupar el pasado, tú puedes decir, comí loroco, punto. No decís, he comido loroco ayer, ¿verdad? Jamás vamos a decir eso. Uh -huh. No se dice cuándo. Ahora, con el, el have, lo vamos a ocupar con I, you, we, they. ¿Okay? Y el has lo vamos a ocupar con tercera persona. He, she, it. Con la misma estructura, Rina. Como mm. se dijera, él ha comido loroco. He has eaten loroco. Muy bien. Él no ha comido loroco. Eh, he has eaten loroco. Muy bien. ¿Ha comido el loroco? Eh, Uh, has uh -huh. he eaten loroco? Muy bien. Answer. Formative. Um, Para decir que sí. La, um, yes, he eaten loroco. Mm. La respuesta um, corta. Yes, he. En la pregunta está la respuesta, en la respuesta está la pregunta. <laughs> Yes, has he, hasn't, ay no. Relax. Yes, si la primera es, has, yes I have, esta sería. Yes, he haven't. Acuérdate yes, he que haven't es negativo. Uh -huh. Yes, he, yes, he has. Has, muy bien. Um, 
¿Por qué? Porque, como estamos hablando de he, se ocupa con he, she, it, el has. Y para he, decir she, que no. Is. Uh -huh. eh, no, he hasn't. Muy bien, no, he hasn't. Entonces, lo que te recomiendo en esto, Rina, es este, un día que no tenga, bueno, haz el tiempo, no es que no tenga nada que hacer, haz el tiempo. Y, y escribí lo que ha, las cosas que a ti te han dado orgullo hacer. Uh -huh. ¿Ya? Pero no en pasado, ¿de acuerdo? He ido a Machu Picchu. Uh -huh. Me he lanzado de un avión. Escríbele. Para que tú sepas que ha sido tu experiencia propia de vida. Ahí se buscan los verbos. Y luego esas las puedes pasar a negativo, las puedes pasar a pregunta, solo para practicar la estructura. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Entonces, ¿de qué trata el presente perfecto? De las experiencias que hemos tenido uh -huh. o Muy hemos bien. vivido. Incluso en la descripción, hemos tenido. Uh -huh. Ahí va el auxiliar have y ahí va el, el past participle de tener, que es had. Incluso en la, en la, en la, en la explicación lo ocupas. Nosotros hemos tenido experiencia. Mm. Okay? Uh, así que si, 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 si puedes, haz un, un par de ejercicios de eso. Y si tienes preguntas, me las haces. Escríbeme. No hay problema. Okay. 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 Very good. Have yourself a good night and practice memorize the verbs. Mandatory, not an option. Like going mm -hmm. y llevar una pistola a la guerra sin bala. <laughs> okay. Very listado. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. So um, have yourself a good night, and if you have more questions, let me know. Nice. Practique. Da tiempo todavía, Rena. You got this. Thank you, teacher. Have a good night. Good night.